God, seated on the throne, ruling over the earth, ruling over everything, Lord. We bless you this morning. Hallelujah. Can you bless the name of the Lord this morning? Can you proclaim that he is God and that there is no one like him? Hallelujah. We bless you, O oh God. Can we celebrate our God this morning? Can we lift his name on high? Can we praise the name of the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. I cannot hear you this morning praising God. Hallelujah. Jesus. God, you are not created by you. You are not a God. Oh, you are not a God. You are God alone, you are God alone. And right now, 
unshakable, unshakable, unshakable. That's who you are. That's who you are. You're unchangeable, unshakable, unshakable, That's who you are. You're unchangeable, unstoppable, unshakable. That's who you Before time, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Right now, you are on your throne. You are God alone. You are God alone. You are on your throne. You are God alone. Jesus You are God You are God alone You are on your throne You are God alone And right now You are, you are God alone. You are God alone. Oh, 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 you alone are God. Oh, 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 you alone are God. Hallelujah. Can we live? up our voices to the Lord most high this morning hallelujah we bless you God hallelujah oh. Can I see your hand this morning? If you believe that God is God, can I see your hand this morning? But I don't feel that you know that is God. Hallelujah. The song says, you alone are God. You alone are God. Hallelujah. Can we sing it together? I will teach you the song and we are going to sing. We are going to proclaim together. That is God. The song says, Oh, 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 you alone are God. Very simple. Oh, 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 oh you alone are God. Can I hear you sing? Oh, oh, oh. oh voices oh you will learn a God oh you can do better than this oh oh you will learn you can do 
do better. Oh, 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 children in who we have invested 
everything that we have lost we know one thing that you are God and no matter what we may face or see or feel you never change hallelujah and this morning this is what we are saying when we are saying that you alone are God you are God you are God you are God. 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 You can sing with me. You are God. You are God. Adonai. You are God. No matter the situation. You are God. You are God. You are God. You never. Because you are God, oh God, you are Jesus, you are, you are God, you are God, you are God, you are God, this is what we say today. the name of God nobody will do it for you nobody will do it for me can we come together and praise the name of God talk to God you are grateful for something you are expecting something else give him honor your God for what your eyes are already seeing and for what you are expecting in prayer Nobody else. There is nobody you else that we can call when we have struggles. You are, you are our only God. God. And this morning we declare in praise. You are God. Yes, we declare in praise are. and worship that you are God. Beyond and above any other God. You are God.
feeling the presence of God when I say you are God. You are God. It's very simple. But I see there is a power in what I say, in what I see. You see? You can be facing as we are, me and my Dominic, facing right now. You see, sometimes situation, difficult situation, that you thought you had victory over, and you don't see the situation anymore. You were praising God for victory, and all of a sudden, you see his back. Why? start feeling bizarre weird and by the time they took him from the workplace to the hospital he, he was dead in the car so we have to call the wife in Dakar and say madame the man that you let go to Cote d'Ivoire alive come and get that dead body and send it back to Dakar I'm telling you there's situations in life in some situation, the only thing that you can do, the only thing that you can do is to say, You are God. You are God. You are God. You don't know how powerful those statements can be sometimes. I have no more words to, to say. Hey, there's no more prayers that I can raise. When there is no more response to why I say there is no more response to why I say you are God when there is no more response to who can help me I say you are God when there is no more response to how can I deal with this I say you are God then act as a God then come to me as a God then give me victory as a God do and as we worship you this morning and as we praise you this morning we shall see a God 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 and I have such situation in my life right now when I can only say oh Father oh Holy God you are the only God that I have I say, there's nobody else. I don't need no money in this situation. I don't need no car in this situation. I don't need any human action in this situation. I need God. I need God. I need you, Father. I need you, Lord. You are God. Then come down. We honor you this morning as the only God we have. We give you praise. And we will see you in glory, in action. This is our faith.
may you know now who needs you. What kind of help, what kind of blessings release your grace and your favor. And we shall see you as God. Give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Oh Lord, we thank you, Father. We give you honor. You may be seated. We give you honor, Father, for this moment we have with you. Remain with us, O Holy Ghost. I mean, you may, you may read our hearts. stay upon us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Welcome to our English service. To the interna to the Alves International English service. We are happy and grateful to be here. I'm still somewhere else. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to give you the announcement as I'm doing that. You can start getting ready for tithe and offerings. And after the tithe and offering, we're gonna, I'm going to leave the floor for Judah Praise to, for a song that will introduce the coming of uh, our pastor, Pastor Henri D. before the word of God. So thank you for positioning the basket. I'm reading the announcement. I would like to remind the church that every Tuesday we have the tribes and sales group from 7 to 8.30. Every Thursday, as usual, we have from 7 to 8.30 here at the cathedral, our time of prayer and Bible study. Every Saturday, starting at 8, we have our, our evangelism session. So we come here at 8 in the, here at the cathedral, in the courtyard. Next Sunday, we're going to have two services, our English service starting at 9, and the second service, the main service, starting at 10.30. The couple department organized uh, in Grand Berube. All the couples in Harvest Church has to come together from Friday 27th until Friday 29th October. We are going to Grand Berube. So if you're a couple here and you're sitting here, please, uh, if you are not yet registered for that moment, please approach me at the end of the, of the service and I will tell you what you don't want to miss. Amen? We are getting also ready for the month of December for the pastor appreciation, pastor and minister, pastor, main pastors, uh, Pastor, assistant pastor and ministers, we are getting ready for the appreciation. It will start, it will be on Sunday for the pastors and for the main pastor will be on Sunday, 10 December, and the, for the assistant pastor and the ministers it will be on Sunday, 17 December. All right, so we are all invited to, to, to participate for the success of this event. Amen. And uh, the Tiani couple would like to to say thank you to to the church, especially to the pastor, DB, and wife, and the, the the whole church for the support that they they have received when uh, they lost the the mother of uh, the the husband Tiani Ipolit. So thank you to you all. May the Lord bless you. Amen. <coughs> Amen. If you are here with tithe, can you stand on your can you stand up and get close to the basket? We're going to pray for you. And right after that, we're going to go for regular offerings. Amen. Father, we give you honor for your daughter before you. We'd like to pray as a church that you may open the floodgate of heaven. And she, shall, she shall receive abundance in her life. Whatever business that she has that is providing incomes, anything material and financially in her life, that you may bless this business. You may increase it in the name of Jesus. And she shall see your hands as a real God 
that gives victory in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you, brother, and you may receive the same blessing. That any blessing that the Lord has put aside for you, you may receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You can all stand up now for regular offerings. And uh, right after the prayer, I'm going to leave the floor. And the next voice that you hear will be the voice of Pastor Ali D.B. for the Word of God. Can we all stand up? If, with your permission, can we all stand up? And we're going to pray together. And right after the prayer, you can freely come to the basket to drop your offerings. Father, we give you honor for the blessing that you give us this morning to come back before you with something in our hands. We are coming with our hearts, with everything we have to give it to you this morning. May you remain a great blessing and may you open the floodgate of heaven so we shall receive blessing, abundance and favor from you. In the name of Jesus, amen. It is, it is offering time, it is blessing time. Yes. I've never seen this kind God before. The God that heals, protects, and delivers. I've never seen this kind God before. The whole wise guy, awesome in all of his ways, the greatest amongst all. I've never seen this kind God before. The things you don't do for me, the miracles you bring my way. Nothing compares to you. Cabe you are wonder in my life. The things you did do for me. The miracles you bring my way. Hello to Mare. Nothing compares to you. Cabe you are wonder in my life. Come on, hey! Can I see some salsa move, please? The things you they do for me The miracles you bring my way It blows my mind It lets you marry Nothing compares to you you are wondering. I've never seen this kind of God before. 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 Never, never, never. Never, never, never. Never, never, never. Never, 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 Jesus, 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 Savior, Jesus, Savior, Savior, Savior. 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 Hallelujah. Celebrate your team. Celebrate the most I can. Hey.
Praise the Lord. Let us all stand, please, and give Jesus a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. I say, let's give Jesus a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. I say, the Lord is good. We prayed uh, for Pastor Rosemond, and God kept her. She was in Israel, and she made it safely this week. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us give Jesus a hand of praise. Amen. She will be here this morning. Amen. So uh, we can see that we serve a prayer answering God. Amen. In a special way this morning, let's lift up our hands. I would like for us to spend some time in his presence. Praise him. Amen. Help us. Amen. Let's worship the Lord. Uh, I was touched by the testimony of Deacon Angeri. Uh, I believe that God is at work in our lives. Uh, whether we believe it or not, whether we see it or not, God is faithful. God is good. Hallelujah. And this morning, we have a reason to give thanks. Hallelujah. So if you please lift up your hands and, and just begin to, begin to praise him. Hallelujah. Begin to just contemplate his awesomeness, his goodness, his faithfulness. He is God and there is none else like him. Our God is good. Our God is awesome. Our God is glorious. Our God is faithful. He has kept us all throughout the year. And he continues to keep us. And in a special way, Lord, we just want to bless your name this morning. Lord, we just want to lift your name high. For you alone are God and you alone are King. There is no one else like you, O oh God. We bless your name and we praise your name. We thank you, Jesus. Asamaya Kuria Basantaya. We always worship you. Can you worship him this morning? Just tell him I will always worship you. I will not be silent. I will always worship. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you, and I will, I will not be silent. Long as I am breathing, as long as I am. Worship him, worship him. That is why as long as, as long as oh, I, I will always, I will always, I will always. You have been so good to me, Lord. I will always, I refuse to close. As long as I am breathing, as long as oh, I am breathing, oh, I will always worship. I will not be silent in your presence, Lord. I worship. 
receive all my worship, Lord. Yes, my worship, all of, all of my worship, receive, Lord. Receive my worship, all of my worship, all of my worship. Yes, my worship, Lord. Worthy of our worship, Lord. As long I always worship. Lord, this is our prayer this morning. We shall always worship you. For you alone are worthy of worship. You alone are worthy to be praised. You alone are worship to be adored. You alone are worship to be exalted. Lord, now establish your throne in this place. By your spirit, Lord, touch hearts. Deliver the oppressed. Reveal your power and reveal your glory. We bless you, O oh God. We praise thee. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Right where you are, can you wave to him? Just wave, 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 wave to him. Welcome your presence in this place this morning. We say, Lord, we are here for you. Have your way. Holy Spirit. Have your way. 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 Thank you. Have your way. Amen. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is here. He is faithful. He has promised that where two of us are gathered in his name, the Lord is in the midst. And this morning, Jesus is here. Expect to hear from him. Expect to receive from him. For he is faithful. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome to English service. Amen. We're so glad to have you all this morning. Amen. Um, let us go into the word of God right quick. Act of the Apostles, chapter 10, verse 38. Um, we've been, we started a series of messages on um, having the heart of a soul winner. And this morning, I wish to pause from this series of messages and, and just deliver and to you, a word that I believe the Lord has laid in my heart for the church this morning. Amen. Welcome to my dear wife. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Shall we all stand for the reading of the word, please? Let's read one, two, go. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. We went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Hallelujah. One, two. Together. How God 
anointed, let's read together, Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. This morning, I want to share a message with you that I have entitled simply, He Heals. He Heals. Just say to your neighbor, Jesus heals. You may be seated. Beloved, the Bible says that Jesus was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about in every place, healing and delivering. Jesus has not changed. And this morning I want to say to someone, he heals. He heals. No matter the affliction, no matter the sickness, this morning, hear the word of the Lord for you. Jesus heals. It says in the book of Luke, chapter 5, verse 17. And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, speaking of Jesus, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. This morning, the power of the Lord is present to heal you. Amen. I say this morning, the power of the Lord is present to heal you. The power of the Lord is present to heal you. It says in Luke 5, 31, in verse 31 of the same chapter, it said, and Jesus answering said unto them, they that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. They that are whole do not need a physician. Jesus is called the great physician. Hallelujah. And he has come for those who are sick. He has come for the oppressed. He said in Luke 4, 18, that the spirit of the Lord is upon me, for the Lord has anointed me to do what? To heal the broken hearted. The Lord heals. And this morning, his healing power is here to heal you. If you believe it, say amen. Beloved, it is a great thing, it's a good thing to connect to Jesus, who is the great physician. For we can see in the Bible that in his ministry, Jesus healed <clears throat> all of those that were brought to him. He has not changed. He is here this morning, and he shall bring you healing where you are hurting. The healing power of Jesus touches every level of our existence. That healing is physical. That healing is emotional. That healing is also spiritual. You see, when he came, his ministry was threefold. To save, to heal, and to deliver. The great physician Jesus has no respect for hopeless cases. The great physician Jesus heals, and he loves his patients. The great physician Jesus laid down his life for his patients. He never turns a patient away. He heals free of charge. His clinic is open 24 hours, seven days a week. 12 months in a year, he is always willing and able to heal. Say to your neighbor, Jesus heals. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 8, 16, it says this concerning Jesus the healer. Matthew 8, verse 16, it says, When the even was come, When the event was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his words 
and healed all that were sick. Verse 17, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah, the prophet saying, himself took our infirmities and bear our sickness. Jesus heals all manner of sicknesses and diseases because he took on himself our infirmities and our sickness. I want to decree over anyone here this morning who is afflicted in his physical body, anyone here afflicted in his family, anyone here afflicted, I declare that by the power of Jesus, the great physicians, receive your healing now. I say by the power of Jesus, the great physician, I command every infirmity to go. I command every sickness to die and disappear in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has the power to heal. And Matthew says that Jesus, the great physician, heals us. Amen. And his medicine are his words and his blood. Say after me, his medicines are his words and his blood. It says in verse 16 of Matthew, it says, When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he, what, he cast out the spirit with what? With what? He cast out the spirit with? With his words and healed all that were sick. He cast out the spirit with his words. It says in Psalm 107, verse 20, Psalm 107, verse 20, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from destruction. Jesus sends his word and brings about healing. This morning I declare there is a release of the word of healing right now. By the power of the word of Jesus, you receive your healing now. He healed them by his word. And he healed them, how? By his blood. Isaiah 53, 5. He said, it is by his stripes that we are healed. Jesus, the great physician, wants to heal you this morning. I say, Jesus, the great physician, wants to heal you this morning. And this morning, no matter the sickness... No matter the oppression, no matter the hurt or the wound, Jesus, by his word and by his blood, shall heal you. If you believe it, just say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Jesus wants to heal you. My question is, do you believe it? Do you believe that Jesus can heal you, beloved? Your amen has remained on the roof. I said, do you believe that he can heal you? Yes. Say after me, Lord, no. you said it. Yes. I believe it. Yes. And I receive it. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the will of God that you will be healed. But do you believe it? The Bible says this. Let's see. In Mark chapter 9, verse 18. Mark chapter 9, verse 18. The Bible says that a father came to Jesus with his son. And the son was demon-possessed. The disciples tried to cast out the demon, but they could not. They tried to heal the boy, but they could not. So the father speaks to Jesus. And he says to Jesus, And wheresoever he taketh him, speaking of the spirit that is, oppress that is oppressing the son, he teareth him, and he foameth, and gnatheth with his teeth, and pineth away. And I spake to thy disciples 
that they should cast him out, and they could not. So the father is complaining to Jesus that he sent his son to the disciples of Jesus, and they could not heal him. And he goes on, verse 22. And, and he explains the situation of his son. And often time it cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. The father says to Jesus, Jesus, here is my son. He is sick. He is oppressed by demonic spirits. Your disciples could not heal him. And he says to Jesus, if you can. The father is asking Jesus, if Jesus can. Jesus, the king of kings. Jesus, the Messiah. Jesus, the anointed one. Jesus, the one with the power to heal all manner of sicknesses and disease. He is asking Jesus if Jesus can. And many of us come to the Lord and we are still wondering, can Jesus heal me? Can Jesus deliver me? Can Jesus Give me the victory over this situation, over this sickness, over this hurt, over this wound. Can Jesus do it? And we are, we approach the Lord and we are still asking the question, can he do it? Lord, I know you can heal my headache. But can you heal the cancer? Lord, I know you can heal high blood pressure. But can you heal AIDS? Lord, I know that you can heal back pain. But can you heal my condition in my blood? Lord, can you? And Jesus said, look, look at what Jesus says. It says, verse 23. He said, Jesus said unto him, If thou can believe, all things are possible to them that believeth. If you believe, all things are possible. To them that believe. He said, Jesus, if you can, and I'm, sure, and, and I'm sure Jesus himself is surprised that the man is asking him, if you can. <laughs> Beloved, I want to encourage you this morning. There is nothing that is too difficult unto the Lord. There is nothing he cannot do. If you believe, you will see the glory of the Lord. If you believe. Verse 24. And straight away, Jesus said, if you believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Verse 24. And straight away, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Say after me, Lord, I believe. But unfortunately, it does not stop there. <laughs> Comma, help thou mine unbelief. Lord, I believe, but help mine unbelief. You see, the father is not entirely an unbeliever. He has some kind of beliefs. Hallelujah. He has some faith. He is not entirely faithless. He has some faith, but he's saying to Jesus, help thou my unbelief. What does that mean? It means 
there was a time, Mama Domi, where the father believed. That was like in January, but around March and June, with the diagnosis, with the condition that is not changing, his faith has started to dwindle. His faith has become weak. And many of us in the church are like that father. Jesus, we believe. We believe or we believe, but Jesus, really, <laughs> help our unbelief. Because Jesus, this condition has been around a long time. Jesus, I have prayed. Jesus, I have believed. Jesus, I have fasted. Jesus, I even made an offering. I even made uh, 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 action de grace. Uh, uh, I gave grace. I, I came and I gave with regards to the situation. I have asked people for prayer. We have come together. We have prayed and we have done it all. But I have met a prophet. He even prayed for me. A powerful man of God. I went to Nigeria and they prayed for me there. I went to the US. They prayed for me there. I went to France. They prayed for me there. I went to see a mighty prophet somewhere in Soweto. He took bread for me. But Jesus, the situation is still there. Help my unbelief. Because now, my faith is weak. Now, my faith is not as strong. I want to say to someone this morning, Jesus is able. He has not changed. He can heal you. He can deliver you. No matter the condition, no matter the doctor's report, he has the power, he has the capacity to heal you and he will heal you today. Do you believe He say all things are possible to him that believes. Where your faith is weak, I pray this morning that your faith in Christ shall be strengthened. Because you see, faith simply means Believing what God said in his word and believing he will do it. It is having the confidence that God will keep his promise. It is having the confidence that God will keep his promise. No matter how long it is, no matter how you have been disappointed in the past, no matter how men have disappointed you, no matter how the doctors have led you astray, no matter how the medication you took did not work, I have come to tell you this morning that Jesus is still able to make it happen for you. Jesus can still make it happen for you. I want to say to someone this morning, cast away every fear. Cast away every doubt. Cast away every unbelief. Jesus is able. Jesus can do it. Jesus will do it. I command every confusion to leave you. Every frustration to leave you. Every defeat to leave you now. I take authority right now. Lift up your hands. Over every confusion, I take authority over every frustration, I take authority over every defeat. I say, You shall not be defeated. I say, You shall not be defeated. 
it may look like the sickness has won it. But I have come to tell you this morning, you shall not be defeated. It looks like the infirmity has taken over. But you shall not be defeated. Ha! The doctors may have said that the cancer has metastasized. It has spread all over the body. But they have come to declare that Jesus heals and you shall not be defeated. Ha! I bind every confusing feeling. I bind every fear. Right now, right now, I declare the victory of the cross. I declare the victory of the cross in your body. I declare the victory of the cross in your situation. I declare the victory of the cross. It shall arise. 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 Oh, beloved, don't confuse your feeling with your faith. For healing is not dependent on how you feel. But healing is based on the promise of God. And the Lord has promised. That he sent you his word. And he shall heal you. The Lord has promised that by the stripes of Jesus you are healed. The Lord has promised that healing is the bread of the children. I declare this morning, you shall eat of that bread. 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 Hey! You shall eat of that bread. You shall eat of that bread. Ah! No matter how confusing the situation is, no matter how difficult, no matter how hurtful, I have come to tell you that Jesus is. Hey, Jesus is. Jesus is. Jesus is. I curse every disease to die and disappear. I curse every high blood pressure to die and disappear by the power of the great physician, Jesus Christ. I curse every cancer, every cancer at the root to die and disappear. I curse every high blood pressure right now. Now, take up your luggages and leave. I commend you, every Akayamaya Kuriaba, every infirmity, every attacks of infirmity in your back right now. Every back pain disappears. Every back pain disappears. I take authority right now of a sickle cell anemia. I break your power. I destroy your assignment. I commend you now. You must go. You must go. You must go. You you must go, you must go, you must go, even now, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the release of your healing power. For the release of your healing power. Lord, you have said it, and we believe it. Hey, Lord, you have said it, and we believe it. By the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. By the stripes of Jesus, I am delivered. By the stripes of Jesus, I am well. Ah. The Lord has said it. I believe it. The Lord has said it. I believe 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 it. And I receive it. And I receive it. So right now, right where you are, receive it now. Don't just hear the promise. Don't just believe in the promise. But go further. Receive the promise. Now receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
believe in the promise but receive the promise believe in your healing but receive your healing believe that you have the victory receive your victory believe that the Lord has done it and receive it by faith by faith by faith by faith by faith by faith receive it now by faith by faith receive it receive it for the Lord is faithful to fulfill his word the Lord is faithful to make good on his promise the Lord is faithful for the Bible declares in the book of 2 Kings chapter 5 that there was a young lady in the house of Naaman the Syrian general the Bible says that Naaman was a powerful man Naaman was a strong man but Naaman was a leper Naaman had an incurable disease but deliverance came to the house of Naaman and deliverance came in the form of a little slave girl and the, the slave girl she released the words of the Lord she said there is a prophet in Israel there is a God in Israel who can heal your leprosy take that word believe that word receive that word and you shall be healed and the Bible declares that Naaman went to Israel based on the word that he heard and the prophet said to Naaman go into the Jordan deep seven times and you shall be healed but the Bible says Naaman hesitated Naaman was not sure Naaman said ah Lord help my unbelief I believe a lot if I came thus far it means that I believe but I have tried before and I did not get healed and I don't see how can the water heal me how can the Jordan heal me I don't know but the prophet say just go and dip into the water seven times up and the Bible says Naaman went into the Jordan and Naaman obeyed the word of the Lord Naaman obeyed the word of the Lord Naaman received instruction and Naaman went into the water seven times and when Naaman came out Naaman was healed I have come to tell you Akazimaya, don't only receive the word believe the word and receive your healing believe the promise and receive your healing Naaman had to dip seven times and he came back clean because he believed he had his doubts but he believed and he obeyed I declare that which you could not do before you will get up and you will do it where you felt the pain right now put your hand at that place where you are hurting put your hand at that place where you are hurting and receive your healing receive your healing receive your healing receive your healing even now be healed begin to thank God if you believe if you believe that you have received it begin to thank God begin to thank God begin to thank God begin to give him praise give him glory give him honor give God adoration give him exaltation for the Lord is faithful the Lord is faithful somebody is activating his faith right now right where you are activate your faith activate your faith begin to declare that you are healed you are healed from that condition begin to declare your family is healed your children are healed your loved ones are healed from that condition begin to declare it declare it now you can stand in the gap for someone you know that is sick and the Lord shall do it you can stand in the gap for your own self and begin to declare declare it by faith begin to proclaim it I am healed I am healed you are let us all stand great and mighty Jesus is. You are able. Jesus. 
for you the book of James chapter 5 verse 13 is any among you afflicted let him pray is any merry let him sing psalms verse 14 is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him over her I anointed him or her with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. As we are singing, you are able. I want to pray. If you are afflicted in your physical body, I want to anoint you. Hallelujah. Because I believe that the prayer of faith that is released here this morning shall heal you. Hallelujah. As I touch you, believe that it is Jesus who is touching you. So you can come if you are afflicted also. I want to encourage someone, you can come if you want to stand in the gap for someone who is sick but who is not here. Hallelujah. You will be the point of contact. As I pray for you, that person receives his healing. Jesus is able. Hallelujah. As we continue to sing, he's able. Just come and let me lay hands on you. Hallelujah. Just come, come, come. And let me lay hands on you. Just make one line here. Hallelujah. You are able. Great and mighty God. Yes. You are able, Jesus. You are able. You are, you are able. Asamaya Kurdia Bas. Great and mighty God. Jesus the healer. You are able. In this life, I declare a release of the healing you power of able. Jesus. I curse every infirmity to die and disappear right now. Take your victory. Take your victory. Take your victory. Fire. You are able. I declare by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. You are healed. I curse every sickness. To die and disappear. Now I curse every sickness. I curse every sickness to die and disappear. I command your blood cells to fight every infirmity, every cancer. I command you to die by the power of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Creator of the universe, Jesus the healer is at work right, right now in your body to destroy every infirmity. By the stripes of Jesus, I declare you are healed. Jesus the healer rises up in this body and give you healing and give you victory over every sickness, over every infirmity. Now, Jesus, in Jesus' name, Creator of the universe, I declare 
by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. Jesus, the healer, is at work right now. I declare confusion in the doctor's diagnosis. I declare confusion in the doctor's diagnosis. I declare Jesus, the great physician, heal you now in Jesus. Fire. I declare that Jesus, the great physician, heal you now. Take your victory now in Jesus. Take your victory. I declare by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. You are healed. You are healed. I curse every sickness to die at the root now. 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 Go in Jesus' name. Jesus' name, I declare the victory of the cross ah, is released in your life. In Jesus' name, I declare Jesus, the great physician, heal you and deliver you from every infirmity, from every sickness. I declare victory. I declare victory right now. Take your victory in the name of Jesus. Nothing you cannot You are able I declare the trust in release you. of the power Fire you are in your belly right now Fire 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 in your belly right now, Fire in your belly right now. Fire in your the Lord purify you, you from every contamination, able. from every seed of unrighteousness. I declare your victory. I declare your victory. You I declare your victory. Able. Take it now in Jesus' name. Jesus. Ah, Jesus, the great physician, heal you now. I declare the blood of Jesus flashes out of your system. The blood of Jesus flashes out of your system. Every contamination, every sickness, every disease, every virus, every bacteria, the blood of Jesus flashes out of your system. There is nothing, nothing. You are healed. 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 In Jesus' name. Nothing you cannot turn. I declare a release of the healing power of Jesus over your life now. A release of the healing power of Jesus. Lift up both hands. Jesus heals. Believe it and receive it. Jesus guérit. Crois-le et reçois cela. Jesus heals. Believe it and receive it. 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 By faith, you are I declare, you are strengthened Jesus. in your marrows, strengthened in your bones, strength in your muscles, strength in your inner man. Right now, I declare you are healing. Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Go back. Please. Go back. Jesus. Beloved, let's all stand. Begin to give thanks to Jesus. Stand up and thank Jesus right now. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for the release of his healing power. Thank God for healing. Jesus heals. 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 You are able, you are able, you are able, you are able. Jesus, you are able, you are able, you are able. You are able. There is nothing.
nothing. There is nothing. Nothing you cannot do. Declare it. Nothing you cannot change. Nothing you cannot burn. There is nothing, nothing you cannot Beloved, declare it by faith. There is nothing Jesus cannot do. Nothing you cannot turn around. You are able, great and mighty God. I put my trust in you. You are able. You are Nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing, nothing you cannot do, nothing you cannot change, nothing you cannot turn around. You are able, great and mighty God. I put my trust in you. You are able. You are able, Jesus. There is nothing, there is nothing that is up. There is nothing. Oh, nothing. There is nothing. There is nothing. There is nothing that Jesus cannot do. There is nothing. will change. There is a turn around. Jesus, your healer has turned it around. Jesus, your deliverer has turned it around. Jesus, your savior has turned it around. Hey. Jesus. He 
able. <laughs> Woo! You are Jesus. Able. He's able. Jesus. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. You are able. You are able, 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 you are Redeem of the Lord say Amen. Give Jesus a hand of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. You just remain standing for the sake of time. Hallelujah. Do we have any first time visitors? If you are here for the very first time, we want to acknowledge your presence in our midst. Amen. We are all old timers. The Lord bless you. Please, we are here again next week. Uh, invite someone who does not know Christ. Invite someone who is on church, who is looking for a church where the Holy Spirit is at work and where Jesus is glorified. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, we'll be together again next week. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us stand on our feet. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance up on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord cause his face to shine up on you and give you peace. Go 
with that healing that Jesus has given you today in Jesus' name. And the people of God say, Amen. God bless you. See you next week.